All right, here's three instruments. The middle instrument in this picture is the Appalachian Mountain Dulcimer. The one on the lower part of the picture is the Strumstick. And the instrument at the top is the Merlin. These three instruments are related in that they are all diatonic instruments. In other words, uh, their fretting is set up in such a way that you can only play in the key that it's tuned to. So if your mountain dulcimer is tuned to the key of D, then that's the key you have to play in. You can't play in C or anything else. Uh, that's the same for the strumstick and it's the same for the Merlin. So that's different than a guitar or a piano or something which is a chromatic instrument. You can play any key you want. Now, how do these three instruments relate to each other? First of all, the Appalachian Mountain Dulcimer is the oldest of the three, and the other two are derived from the Mountain Dulcimer. So the Mountain Dulcimer has 17 frets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 frets on the mountain dulcimer. At some point in time, someone had the idea to add an extra fret between the 6th and the 7th fret. So if we go back there, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the person decided that they had to have a fret right there between the six and the seven. This became known as the six and a half fret. I'll show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There are now 17 frets with an extra one, so 18 frets. When they came out with the strum stick, what they did is they added that extra fret right from the beginning. The strum stick has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 and a half, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now I know the strum stick books show 12 frets because you know they don't count the half fret. They count it as a fret. So in the strum stick music of books they just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Strum stick music books, the music notation shows you 12 frets. But of course, if you do that, then any music notation books you have from your mountain dulcimer are not usable because the mountain dulcimer does not have 18 frets. It has 17 frets with an extra half fret. So when I make my strumstick music books, I count that as a half fret. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The strumstick has 11 frets plus the extra half. The mountain dulcimer has 17 frets and sometimes the extra half. The Merlin, the Merlin only has 7 frets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But the difference is the Merlin's first fret doesn't start where the first fret starts on the mountain dulcimer or the first fret starts on the strumstick. The Merlin's first fret starts here on the fourth fret. So if I take away this extra fret for a minute and I put the Merlin, the Merlin here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the Merlin exists in this area, in this area of the mountain dulcimer. So that is why the music books for the mountain dulcimer or the strumstick 
are not interchangeable with the music books for the Merlin because the, the layout of the frets is not in the same pattern. So there you have it.